position. I know, but are you guys learning to get along all right? We <laughs> are making faces. <laughs> I just realized. What are you doing? I'm, I'm like... <laughs> I can't wait to see that. <laughs> it's out of pocket. That's good. Are we uh, opening or closing? We're now? opening. We're opening. starting oh, the last of the pumpkin Hopefully face. no one has jumped series. right in. good. Why, you think they think we're nuts? Yes. yes. Well, that's good. They're right in it. And they're right in there. Well, this is the third in the series of the pumpkins. Yeah, and we are just need to do some definition on the sections and the faces. And yes, Lee's going to show us how to make her fancy starfish stem. It's really extraordinary. I don't know, but it makes it simple. <laughs> and um, curls. We get to and play curls, with blocks. Curls. So okay. we're going to move... Um, over the shoulder. Yes. Oh, this okay. little guy now, I'm going to do a stem next because then that will sh kind of center everything and help me figure out how I want to highlight the rest of them. So I've decided to do a lighter stem on this guy. So this is a pretty, this core wool is pretty darn chunky. So I'm going to rip a piece off and I'm going to split it in half right down the middle. So we want about a six inch length. Well this is more, you can do six, you can do, this is more like a four inch this one. This is like six. This is four. But since mine's kind of so squatty, I'm mm -hmm. going to do a little shorter. I mean you could make mm -hmm. nice long pumpkin okay. things. Okay. So then I'm just going to fold it in half and then I'm going to roll it. And so as I roll it, and maybe about halfway down. Okay, and, and you can see there's going to be a little dimple in there. And then I am going to needle felt it. I want to put some light in my around. dimple. Okay, what color would you like? Can I can? Yeah. There you go. And it might even be a better idea to, when you're rolling it, to roll it around a chopstick or a skewer to get it tighter because it's looking like... You can like, even. Yeah, you can. Roll it in your hands. We can. This. We can do that to help get it tighter because I'm going to end up having to needle felt mine longer because it was pretty loose. My roll was loose. That's the difference between a wrapper and a roller. Yes, it is. A wrapper would have had a much tighter stem. Rollers are loose. Okay, so then I'm going to dimple my the end of my stem. Because when you break a pumpkin stem off, it's kind of... Oh, it jumped away. You're flowing, throwing things, yeah. Okay. So that's going to that's gonna be okay. Hmm? All right. So, so now that you have your stem, I might end up making it a little thinner in a minute, but flip it upside down, split your fuzz in half, and then divide it into however many sections your pumpkin is. And mine is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Eight. Dang it. Wow. Eight. Okay. So then each of these sides is going to get three legs of my starfish. How many? Milo, how many legs does a starfish have? Uh, I know. As many as you want it to? In this case, yes. <laughs> You're right, Sarah. Five. Five. That's correct. Oh, it's not a joke. It's a real question. It was a real <laughs> question. Wow, oh, starfish. So anyway, but my starfish is going to be a little mutated and have six. So there. So I'm going to show my fancy starfish. Okay, here's my starfish. Ooh, you are being, yours Ooh, looks like an octopus. octopus. It is. Uh-huh. Yep. Great minds, Lee. Yes. They think Let me alike. tell you. Okay. I bet you guys can figure out what's ba, ba, next. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, however you want, place that stem on his little head. You can do it a little further back. You can do it right over his little face. You can do it wherever you want. So hold it down. And for now, just tack down the base of the stem all the way around your pumpkin. OK. And now I take these 
and you can twist them a little bit if you want to and come around and follow the crease and tack it down. So it kind of adds a little definition to the face. Okay. Let me show this one. Yep. Start. You've I'm already sure. started it. Oh, that shows up great. Yeah. Yes. And you can see them on, let's find another one where it shows up real well. On the, yeah, here's a white one where it shows up very well. So you're going to continue around and do it on each section. So does it just end where it ends, or? I'm Good. sending mine just to end where it ends. I guess you could get more of that color if you if you wanted to make sure that it came all the way to the center. But right. I'm just letting mine end. I just let mine end where it ends. And so therefore, your little starfish legs do not need to be even. So it just is what it is. Mine is, uh, looks like a sad pumpkin eat, being eaten by an octopus, is what it looks like right now. A sad pumpkin being eaten by an octopus? Yeah, that's what he looks like. He's like, help! He's awesome. Help, help. help. Okay. Let's go down this side of his face. He looks like the uh, yum yum wants some gum gum. You know, <laughs> Night at the Museum. Oh, yeah. Movie yeah, yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah. The what Easter he Island. He keeps saying something. Yum yum wants some gum gum or something. Yeah. What's that? Oh. Is that an East Coast thing? It's a movie. Oh. It's a movie. Night, Night at the Museum. It's funny, whatever he's saying. <laughs> Does he say, call someone a dumb dum They dumb dumb wants some gum gum <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right, last one. And this is one of my favorite parks because it really defines the segments of the pumpkin. Let me show something yes. while you're doing that. Please do. If you wanted to take a darker color, um, um, Lee, can I have the brown, please? Yes. No, the no, um, brown. This brown. Yeah. And just take little strips of it, little rolls, and you could... Make your folds, you know, accentuate the folds of your face if you wanted a little more depth to them. Yes, by and even a... fluffier than what you have because yeah. it makes quite a big difference. Or you could even lighten. Yeah, you could. You could. Me, just, I'll put some light I'm in just my creases try it. to see what happens. You put light in the crease? Well, I'm just wondering, just because mine is so dark. Oh, I'm wondering. It's like it's like special effects makeup. Yeah. So I'm just this is just experiment. I don't know. Usually I put dark. How'd that work? You can. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. It didn't make much difference. A little bit. It did make a difference. It did. It might be weird, but it made a difference. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that, no. Cool. But anyway, there we go. Cool. Yep. I love this color. Yes, the, I do. And this was the... Oh, I think over the oh. white actually makes a difference because... Yes. If you did that same thing over orange, it would be darker. Yes. So but having I used, the white background... Right. I used this and then put a tiny bit of yeah. the pumpkin over yeah. the top. Yeah, I like it. Okay, belly buttons? Sure. So take a dark piece, and or light, whatever you want. Make a little round circle. Give them a belly button. So you make your circle just by doing some folding. Yeah, and that's all you need to do. And then... And this is just where the, the flower end. Here we can dual stuff. Ooh, we should make a we should this. make a squash blossom to go with our pumpkins. I think that would be great. Joy, How about a pumpkin Joy style. Blossom? Yes, we should. Yeah. Okay. But is a pumpkin blossom not a squash blossom? Our pumpkins, pumpkins not are squash. squash. They are squash. Yes. They are. Okay. Curls. So they're looking pretty sweet. We're gonna fight over locks now. We are. Okay. He wants. 
What do you want? Let's put the locks in the middle. Oh, ooh. He wants some of this. You could argue some of this. I might go against my usual. <gasps> yeah. So bright. It's very bright. I don't know. But he's kind of screaming bright. So when you're handling the locks, it's best to find the tips if they're stuck together at all. Yes. Find the tips and pull from the tip. That way you're going to you're going to maintain the lock structure. Yeah, the integrity better. of the yeah. yeah, exactly. So you would pull there's one pull the lock, pull it out. Yeah. I wonder if you could almost have hair So um, you will have a variety of natural color locks, mm -hmm, dyed some. locks. Oh, those are. Oh, these are. I'm gonna. I don't know. Uh -oh. I, in my hand, you may have some. <laughs> and um, and it might be have some mohair, and you can set them back yeah, here. I, I think we'll right move there. them just yeah. right here. These are um, these ones we like are are Icelandic. Icelandic, yeah. And the fun part is that every single pumpkin kit will have different little bunches, and so all your pumpkins are going to be unique. Toupee? And... <laughs> <laughs> that's not a, well, okay, I was going to say that's not a good look, but uh, those locks look I familiar. I want to do something funny. Yeah. To lighten up his... Do you know what I'm looking forward his to, His sad Sarah? face. <laughs> <laughs> what Don are you looking King. forward to? I am looking forward to seeing everybody's pumpkin face on the Serafina oh Facebook page. Yes, me too. Because I, I was everything. so impressed with the chipmunks. And um, this is going to be really fun. Milo, are you going to make one? Oh, I don't know. I got things to do. Naps to take. Yeah. You need to do a little pet training, too. You need obedience, maybe? <laughs> Me? Yeah. For, well, for... Not for, for you. For Roscoe, or for, whatever his name is. Yeah, we need... I'm feeling... I'm feeling Roscoe. Okay. Maybe Roscoe. Rascal. Okay. Oh, I don't know what... <laughs> He's looking pretty good. This Getting guy's... a little punchy. Yep. And I must say, this is very... Are you putting orange hair on there? This is very unly. Very... Not me, but it's happening, Sarah. I'm making his stick up. Usually I make him stick down. Yep, this one's kind of ending up, up too. So to get those on, do you, there's no folding over, there's no, no you pretty can't, much just. If you have a super long, whoop, that's not long, but if you had a very long lock, you could fold it in half and tack it in, like right there. I'm just pretty much stabbing the ends in. Yeah, you can do that too. He needs a little color. He needs a pop of color. Oh, I have some really pretty orange. Yee, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can make... I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah, oh, as you can see, you just place them where you want. Oh, yeah. This tones down the orange a little bit. And remember, when the, with the Icelandic, there's two parts to that, that staple. There's the, the long guard hair part, and then there's the fluffy inside part. So be careful when you're separating the locks. If you like both those parts to stay together, to hold up just a little higher. There, he has like when a, you do it. That a is comb over a comb lock. over with some mohair, and then bed head in the back. I don't know what's going on. Bed, <laughs> yeah, pumpkin patch head. That's what we'll call it. This guy's gonna have a little bit of a starfish around the. I love Icelandic. One more little piece. Okay, so your guy doesn't really even have eyes, does he? He's what do you mean? Well, <laughs> well, he has dark, dark sad, sad holes for <laughs> eyes. He's very. But sad. now he looks like a she. Aw, she does. Well, yeah. there. Here we go. 
They're looking kind of cute. But you could, if you want to, put the little eye shine, the life shine in their eyes. Do we have any with life shine? Here. Just beneath the little. Yeah, this guy does. So little if you dots. want them to be a little more, this guy's eyes are big enough probably for little uh, dots. Yeah. Would you like to add some to my sure. little pumpkin? I'll put dots on your little little pumpkin. My little pumpkin. My pumpkin head. <laughs> Tiny bit. Yep. And then I gotta get my finer needle. This one's. Would you like to try my finer needle? This sure. is my favorite one. Be careful. Ooh. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. And that's, I think, a 40 twist. All right. We got the 40 twist. I like the 40 twist. Yes, 40 twists are good for eye shines. Because otherwise, have you ever had your eye shine disappear? Oh, yeah. Into Just, the eyeball? Yeah, yes. it's gone. Sucked, no life. Sucked right up. No shine. All right. So, thanks for coming all this way, Lee, to you help are. us make these pumpkins. You are welcome. I have a pleasure. I made a few before Lee came, and they weren't very good. So, <laughs> it's really fun. And um, thanks for joining us. And... We can't wait to see your pumpkins. If you're on Facebook, go to the Serafina Felting Fanfare group. We share our pictures there. See you next time. Bye-bye.